Hello you guys, it is Katrina here. Welcome to today's video. Um, so we're gonna have a little bit of a talk, right? I have been trying to figure out how to verbalize, how to really tell you guys how things went in Miami. I did get my boobs done. Um, This is so embarrassing. Like, you want me to be completely honest? This is so embarrassing to say at the very least because I I went into this journey, right, thinking that, like, all my problems would be solved and I would feel better about myself um, and that I would finally have the body that I have wanted for years. Like, let's just be honest. This is something that has been bugging me ever since I was a teenager. And I thought that going down to Miami would, you know, kind of fix me how I feel about myself and everything like that. Um, however, I am not happy. Um, I can confidently say that. Like, I'm not happy with my results, which I know you guys can see a change like I can fill out this bra so much better um so my daughter was Dr. Haas at Miami Me Aesthetics down in Miami Florida sorry I was like trying to word it here while I'm trying to find stuff but it's hard for me to multitask like let's just be honest it's just hard to multitask and um I'm happy with his work the one thing I am not happy with is what was given to me. So I guess to put it as like simple as possible is I never got to try on any breast implants. Yeah, believe it or not. Um, the whole nine yards I was expecting to try on breast implants that way I could pick, um, you know, my size and everything like that. Um, it's just not what happened. So I do want to show you guys my implant card. This is my implant card. I know it's kind of hard to see. Um, so that's the brand I got, the Natural. Um, and then I got, I don't know if you guys can even see that, but 310 cc's on both sides, which, I don't know because listen, I have not seen anybody get under 325 of cc's. It's just not a common thing in my opinion. Like I just don't see that. Um, so yeah, um, definitely not the implant size I was looking to get. Just, I mean like I guess I can explain how that happened. For one so basically um i went in pre-op and i was expecting to try on some sizes and that didn't happen um they told me that surgery day is when i get to kind of like pick my size and everything like that doctor will help you help you um pick out your implant sizes and stuff like that and waited till surgery day um you know got undressed got into my gown and everything that they had for me and um doctor came in and he you know i showed him my boobs what i currently had he asked if i had kids he asked if i had like engorged boobs if i wanted any more kids i uh, was very honest and said not at the moment <laughs> um i have my, i have my hands full so i really don't want any more kids at this moment um it's just not something in my plans to have more kids at the moment maybe things will change a couple years down i don't really know um and then he was asking like what size i was trying to get to and i told him that i wanted to be a double d he chuckled um and told me that he couldn't get me to a double d because of my frame and i think that's like the one thing i haven't really heard anybody talk about like and I don't know if my doctor was just lying, he was just being lazy, or, like, what the dealio was, but 
basically he told me the max that he could put in me was 310 cc's the lowest that he could put at least into my frame if the 310 didn't fit was 300 and that was very discouraging he told me the reason behind that was because um i didn't have much tissue and that um my frame like my frame was just so small that he couldn't get anything bigger into it so as you can imagine right um you know taking an entire trip down to miami wanting to get like your hopes and your dreams and just literally just trying to do something that you've wanted for years and you've dreamt of um that was a that that really honestly um hurt when he told me that like I just I honestly just didn't understand like I understood what he was telling me like my chest um was small um if you want me to describe what I was before I was a 32b that was the last bra I was wearing when I got down there um I can no longer fit into a 32b um and he said that he couldn't make me any bigger than like a full c to like a small d so that was very disappointing um definitely not something i expected because i seen a lot of girls where they went and they got their boobs done and they literally went from being like practically flat chested to being a full d um or like a full c so it's like i don't really i don't really understand that so um yeah i kind of in a sense i kind of feel like i screwed myself over um as far as going to the place that i did um i did have some issues with mia um i guess the best way to put it is they were just so disorganized nobody knew what was going on there was misinformation being spread around from the um from the front desk to the patients and they had no idea um i could really go into depth about that but i really don't want to since this is just me talking about how i feel about my results um so 310 cc's got me to a 34 d that's what i currently am and in my opinion my boobs are still in my opinion they're still pretty small um for my frame um I like after surgery I wanted to try on the bra that I took with me because I did bring a 34 double d with me to Miami hold on this was the bra I brought with me just as like to show the doctor and just like try on implants because that was my plan like my plan was to literally just kind of put this on and like stick implants in here so that way i can figure out um you know what size would get me to this and this is just not fitting like there's like if i were to put this on right it's just not going to fit properly like i'm not not a double d um, and this is a Victoria's Secret, which supposedly their sizes run small for most people. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, so, um, definitely was not able to really achieve my dreams. I'm no longer, like, a flatty natty. Um, like, don't get me wrong, like, this is nice and all. I have heard some people compliment on my frame and just how they look already they said that they look good um they do look good it's just not what I wanted for my particular frame like I definitely wanted a little bit bigger than this so I'm not saying that I'm botched or anything like that but I think definitely in the future I want to go for a round two and I know that's kind of like disappointing to some people like it's very disappointing to me it's embarrassing um for me to have to come on here or even just tell people like are you happy with your new boobs and i have to tell them no um because i had worked my ass off this year and 
I've done so much just to try to make this happen for me and it just didn't play out in my favor. Um, I don't know if it was really just the doctor or just the place I went to. Um, I thought, you know, whenever you go to get your boobs done, despite where you go, um, you get to try on implants and you get to pick your size or at least relatively close, whatever the doctor can fit in there. Because I know there is a max of how many cc's can be put into your frame, but personally, I just feel like my results weren't really maxed out. Um, like I used to tell you guys in past videos and previous videos, you know, when I was lactating with Lucas, and I know lactating is like completely different, but if your boobs can expand to a certain point, I feel like you're able to get to that point again. That's just my personal opinion because you were already once there, like, you know what I mean? So that's kind of like, that was my thinking of it. I was a triple D, wait, yeah, I... I wasn't a double D, I was a triple D when I was lactating with my son, and I, I honestly, I mean, I don't see, I don't see the reason why he couldn't have put anything bigger in, like, I, I think, in my opinion, doctor just got lazy, and he's like, I'm gonna just give you what I think would look good on you, and you're just gonna stick with that. Um, I did talk to the anesthesiologist about the fear of being like too small and everything like that she kind of just reassured me that um she thought it would look good on my frame and i mean i had already signed the consent forms and i was already prepped to go for surgery so it's like i couldn't really back out of it um so i was kind of just stuck to um keep going with the procedure and um yeah <laughs> so i don't really know how i want to go about this in the future as far as like getting another boob job like it's just not something i had in mind like i thought this would be like a one-time go and then i you know wouldn't need to get my implants changed for the next 10 years here I am, I'm thinking probably like 2025, <laughs> um, cause I feel like next year I'm just not going to have the money to do this again. Um, so yeah, um, I definitely still have some boob envy. I feel like once I hit the point where like, I'm at that size I'm at and I'm happy with myself, I can confidently say I'm happy with myself and I'm happy with my results. You know I won't have to go in and do this again like I, I really don't want to go through this another time but at the same time I'm still not happy with how I look and that's really just embarrassing to come on here and be like I'm not happy with how I look after having a big procedure done um, so yeah um, this is embarrassing as fuck um, if you guys are wondering where the fuck my vlogs are too. My camera started having issues. Um, as soon as I got back home, I wanted to edit everything and put everything together for you guys. That way you guys could see everything that happened during the trip and then my SD card freaked the fuck out. Now it's asking me to format it so I can't really get the files off of it without deleting everything. So you guys won't even be able to really see that journey and how that went um but i suppose if you guys have any questions you guys can comment down below and i can make a whole separate video maybe a q a um but yeah i still have boob envy um i feel like for one i shouldn't even be able to still fit into this um sports bra um i mean that's just my opinion i just feel like i shouldn't be able to fit into this like a lot of my bras I'm not able to fit into anymore. I had to go out to Walmart and buy like a $5 bra, the only 34D that Walmart freaking had. Um, Cause it's the only bra that fits like anything bigger, like a 36D is too big, um, a 38C, 34C is too small. So yeah. Um, so I guess I'll see you guys in the 
next video whenever I feel comfortable really uploading more. I'm really just taking time to kind of reflect on my decision um, right now from coming from Miami. Um, it's been quite a roller coaster ride ever since I got back trying to be comfortable with myself. Um, it's definitely more of a clothing issue on my end, but at the same time, I still don't have the chest I've always wanted. So um, if you plan on going to Mia Aesthetics, I would just recommend you don't. Um, I heard CG does a better job, so that might be something I will be doing in the future, going down to them instead. Um, so yeah see you guys in the next video. Peace.